to Lori back again today with a haul of a different sort. <laughs> this was actually a friend swap with Casey. I will put a link to her channel down below and check out her videos if you haven't already. I hope you have. She's awesome. We decided to do a wax swap. I really kind of wanted to send her some of the fragrances that I know she would love that I don't love as much that I thought would just kind of sit and languish in my collection because we do have different scent preferences. We have some of the same similarities in scent, but there are some that I know she really loves and they're not favorites of mine and vice versa. So she came up with the idea of a swap. I thought that was awesome and she has her video up. So I'll put a link down to that video if you want to check that one out as well. This is the box that arrived to me. I'm so excited. This is so much fun. So I'm filming this later in the day than I normally do and the lighting's different. So I'm like, what is going on with the lighting? But <laughs> we're gonna go with it. <laughs> I wanna make sure that I get this filmed and up because it's so exciting. So let's jump into this. She gave me a giant box full of incredible wax. So I kind of peeked. I can't help myself. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> good with stuff like that so I had to peek and so let's jump in so on the top I did notice there were some Scentsy bars which is awesome some scents that I have not tried the first one this is a Sensationals bar ice cream shop I don't know if she knows this but I do love this scent this is fantastic this to me really smells like strawberry and I love mixing this with a really good vanilla bakery like cookie scent so I'm happy to have another one of these that's awesome and then here are some Scentsy fragrances that I haven't tried. The first one is Red Pear and Pomegranate. So there we have. This is really, actually this is nice. Ooh, this is pretty. So is this gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get this, am I? <laughs> I'll have to look. This is really, really pretty. There's probably a hint of floral in here, but it doesn't bother me at all. This smells like this is gonna be really strong. I do get pear. Definitely I smell the pear in here. A little bit of pomegranate. This is nice. I'll have to look and see if this is available, but that's nice. Then we have rainbows and butterflies. Okay, the pretty pink wax. Let's see if I can pop this one out. Some of them, for me, I just have struggles with my hand sometimes. So let's see. Hmm, okay, so is this like, it's like, <laughs> this is gonna be a guess on scent notes. Is this like a sherbet? It says rainbow. So is it like a, like a sherbet type of a thing. Cause that's what it kind of reminds me of. Or like a, it's definitely like a candy type of a fragrance. A little bit of like a cat, I don't know if there's cotton candy in it or not, but it's candied. This is really pretty. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this one as well. And then she sent me Luna. I know <laughs> she was saying when we talked about some Scentsy, she was saying everybody loves Luna and I didn't try it, I was scared. So thank you so much. <laughs> I was afraid. I was like, oh, because the scent notes. I'm like, oh, I don't know. But she's right. I love this. Yeah, I should just listen to you, Casey. <laughs> I should have listened. You're right. She said, everybody loves Luna. And I don't know if I can pop this out. Probably not. No, I don't want to break the clam. But this is gorgeous. You're right. This is this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. So you're right. How many times do I need to say you're right? You're, you're so right. Okay. And this last one, I was like jumping up and down when I saw this. So this is Cutie Pie Cupcake. Bring back my bar. Oh my gosh. I really wanted to try this. And of course, it's not available right now. I can pop this one out. But look at that. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, you know me so well. This is, this is fantastic. Is this like a little bit of orange? I always say this, every orange reminds me of the Pillsbury, like orange rolls. I love those. So like everything reminds me of that, I don't know. Cause it kind of reminds me of that with um, in a cupcake like smell. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I can see why it was a bring back my bar. We need to bring it back again so I can add it to my club, but yay, I'm so excited about that one. I mean, all of this I'm excited about. I don't. I don't want to give you that impression, but I was like, woo, I get to try that. So the next one that we have is Dessa's Evil Queen Elixir from the Main Street Memories Collection. This is green apple, pear, sour green apple, candy, and fizzy effervescence. 
nice bright green and I love fizzy so there's people walking by so <laughs> looking out there so this is really I would say a green apple and pear fizzy it's funny I do get the pear in here I think this is gonna be really nice I feel like there and it says sour green apple candy hmm because it almost smells like I wonder if it's something because I'm like it smells a little bakery I'm wondering if it was some some of the um, oils from the Bring Back My Bar that I have in my hand, but but this is really, really nice. I'm gonna like this a lot. This is good. So green apple pear fizzy. That's what it smells like to me. Fantastic. You know me very, very well. Okay, so I'm not sure about the name of this. Is this Ashes Scents? Is that what this is? <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm trying to read the label on here. This is Alice's Lavender Tea Cookies. Lavender milk, whipped cream, and frosted circus cookies. So let's see if you can tell, because I think I've seen Ashes on Facebook in like the vendor of the week. So this is pretty. This is a, and it's actually look at the melt is very, very pretty. Look at that. This is pretty. And it, what does it say? It says a lavender milk. I feel like this is herbal lavender, which I happen to like better. I do get the, it's like lavender cookies, I guess I would say. I think this is going to be really nice. I have some lavender in my collection that I really, really didn't love because I feel like it's more I guess I really like herbal lavender better and this smells a little bit more herbal lavender with cookies it's interesting I think I'm gonna really like this one and I love the colors look at that one and then we have white rabbits frosted apricot animations <laughs> juicy apricot whipped cream frosted circus cookies in the same type of shape if I can get that out there this is a soft wax I would say this is definitely apricot like animal cookies. So this is good. Yeah, I think this will be really nice. Definitely it's very strong on the apricot for sure. I don't get a lot of the whipped cream in here, but it's like an apricot circus cookie. So that's good. We have super tarts, plum cider donuts, orange frosting and cinnamon rolls. And these, I've never seen these shapes from her. I don't think I've ever ordered a shape. I just had like the bam bags and the clams. So look at that. This is really nice. This is cranberry orange, which I love 100%. I don't get a lot of the cinnamon rolls. So she was, <laughs> she knows me. I don't like a lot of cinnamon. Now this is really nice. I think this is going to be perfect. I think this is a fall scent for me. I mean, it says, it says plum cider donuts, but to me, it's a little, I guess plum like cranberry type of thing. With a little with a little hint of orange in there that's gonna be really nice so this is a fall scent to my nose probably not to everybody but <laughs> I'm kind of weird like that but this will be really really nice no really not any spice it's re it's really not okay so then we have 804 es essentials is that what it is strawberry pound cake and birthday cake so I remember your video on this <laughs> this got a little messy I will say but I really this is good this is good. I mean, I can definitely smell the birthday cake to me is number one in this. Number, you know, the first predominant note that I get. Birthday cake, like maybe a hint of strawberry pound cake, but definitely birthday cake. Like I really get that icing. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. I think we'll enjoy this. We'll see how it throws for me. I don't remember how it throws. I know, I think that this stuff was just messy, right? I don't know. But anyway, I'm excited to try this. I have never tried this vendor and it smells good. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna reach into my giant box here. This is so much fun because it's like mystery box from a whole bunch of different vendors like curated for me, which is <laughs> so awesome. Okay, we have Jim's Daughter Crafts, My Little Doodle Bug, Cream Soda, Fruits, Bubblegum, and Vanilla. I haven't tried her wax yet. She's definitely on my list. So there was some cute little shape. Look at, oh, yep. Butterfly here. And this, <laughs> to me, smells exactly like bazooka bu bubble gum. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what it smells like. I don't know if like the cream soda will come out a little bit more. What else is in here? Fruits, but it really, to me, it just reminds me of the bazooka bubble gum that you, you know, like the, the hard pieces and then you would unwrap it. Yeah. So this is good. I don't mind bubble gum at all. I think this is fun and fruity. I like this. <laughs> this will be a lot of fun. I'm excited to try that. So, I mean, this is huge. 
And I didn't know that Rainbow Melts made wax in this shape. I didn't know. So we have zucchini bread from it, Rainbow Melts right there. This is a lot of wax right here. So this is definitely zucchini bread, I would say. And so it's not spicy at all. It's interesting because if you smell it in the bag, it smells more of the corn chip, corn chipness, I guess that people say, which never bothers me. I love like cornbread scents and things like that. So it never, I don't think of it that way, but I can see what they're saying. But this one is no, like they're, <clears throat> I never get the feet. I don't know. I love that though. I think it's hilarious. But this is very creamy with no spice at all. This is very nice. It smells different out of the bag to me, just because I think the bag like kind of picks up more of that scent than, than this does. This is going to be fantastic. I really like this. I tend to blend with it, I will say. So this will be fantastic. I love it. I like zucchini bread like an apple scents. So I will probably do use this for like the fall time with some apple, especially if it has any spice in it. I love to add zucchini bread. Cuts that out, makes it really nice and creamy bakery. So I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for all of these. We have Rainbow Melts, Bohemian, Vanilla Sandalwood, Nag Champa, and Patchouli Rain. So I do like these scents. So they're kind of like hippie scents to me, but they, they're just so pretty. I, it's like a very, very pretty incense. That's what it smells like to me. And it's definitely the Nag Champa. That's what I think that this is heavy on to me anyway. And I really like this. This is really good. Super, super pretty. This it's interesting because it's such a different scent. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I love this. This is fantastic. I will enjoy melting that one. So I have from L3, Peach Gummy Candies Paradise Strawberry Pound Cake. You don't like peach? <laughs> Casey doesn't like peach? I don't know. I happen to like peach. And my son really likes peach. So this one to me is definitely Peach Gummy Candies. And that's... Honestly, that's pretty much all I'm getting. And this, I'm trying to smell it. Like, what is it, else does it say? I don't know what Paradise is. I mean, there's something, there's a little bit extra in this. I don't know if this was a custom from Jennifer when she did the custom chunks. It smells like a hint, like just a small hint of floral. Maybe that's something in the Paradise. But I don't get strawberry pound cake at all. I will melt this. I will enjoy this. But I honestly think my son will enjoy this much more. I'm going to have him smell it. He loves those peach gummy rings. Any fragrance that smells like that, he's like snatching it away from me. So we'll see. Okay, so I grabbed a special guest in his neon green shirt here. <laughs> Whoops, as I'm throwing, he's going to smell the peach rings. They do smell like peach rings. <laughs> It does. But I do. Okay, yeah. I was like, what else is in there? It's just the pound cake. You can sm I can't smell the pound cake. Yeah, because I, I, it wasn't as strong as just peach rings, but yeah, but this is... You like that? I like it. I, I said that I if he like liked it better than me, I will give it to him, <laughs> so I will give him the peach rings. Well, thank you. Okay, so I, he got home. The dogs went nuts. <laughs> so I'm like, come in here. Just smell this. Okay, so this next one that I already opened up and started to look at before I got really interrupted by the dogs is Nanu Nanu from L3, apple, mango, tango, strawberry sugar, and lemon sugar. I already had one out. This is so good. I love apple, mango, tango. I don't know if you knew that about me, but I love apple, mango, tango. This is so good. Really, really love this. Oh my gosh. And I have been wanting to try this Nanu Nanu, so I don't know. Are you reading my mind? <laughs> so I will enjoy this one. There's one in here, and I'm trying to like avoid the light like shining right in my face, so that's why I look weird. I'm like trying to figure it out like which angle. Okay, we have L3, Fruity Pebbles, Cotton Candy, and Fizzy Soda. Yes, <laughs> all of those things. Oh, it's so good. It's like Fizzy Fruity Pebbles, 100%. Oh, this is so good. It's gonna be fabulous. Love it. Fizzy Cereal Scents, yes. <laughs> So she mentioned this when we were messaging back and forth, Hermione, which is orange cranberry muffins and a hint of books. This is one of my favorites from L3. I love this scent. It is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so good. 
I don't know, you get that hint of books or library, different vendors call it different things. With the orange cranberry muffins. Oh, I just love this. I'm super excited to have another one of those. We have, oh, did you watch my video on this? Rose Girls, the Cookie Land Sampler, Almond Biscotti Cookie Land. I love this. I did buy some of this. <laughs> I bought two bags of it. And I love this. So this is fabulous. Oh, such a good scent. Perfection to me, <laughs> to my nose. This one is Empire Alchemy Wake Up the Dead Coffee, Cafe Vienna, Lavender Sprigs, Buttermints, and Danish Cookies. So this one, I smelled and it was like, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna melt it because you just never know until you melt something. But I want you to truly know what came into my head when I smelled this. I was kind of like, okay, so there might be scents, <laughs> scents that just shouldn't go together. I don't know. So I don't know about lavender and coffee together. I mean, I get, I definitely smell the coffee, but I also smell the lavender and it's, it's weird. Maybe it's just because my nose isn't like attuned to that. I'm not sure. So we're going to melt this and we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if the coffee comes out on this. But it's interesting. <laughs> so, being honest, the thing that popped into my head, I was like, huh, I don't know if lavender and coffee should go together, but we'll give it a try. Okay. We have gold goatee from L3. Gold sugar, pistachio, and savory bakery. Love gold sugar. Oh my gosh. I just love it. So let's sniff this one. This is fantastic. So this is gold sugar and like pistachio to me. Yeah, this is so good. It's like almost like creamy, like pistachio with the gold sugar. This is so, so good. Mm, yes, okay. <laughs> I will really enjoy this one. Fantastic. Okay, so this is, I, I don't think I've ever seen her offer this but maybe I wasn't <laughs> looking super closely. This is Black Fig and Honey from L3. White Pear, Honey, Green Apple, Tuberose, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Ginger, Black Fig, Ambrette, and Violet. So I was like reading those and I was like, wow, those sound like things that Casey would love. Let's see. And this, I cannot put my finger on what, oh, like the scent notes for this that I'm smelling. So it smells, it's not floral, it's not. Almost like a, it smells like plants. Like if you went into a, like a garden, like nursery or something like that, and you walked in and they had a variety of plants. If you can hear my son and my husband talking, I'm sorry. But it smells like that. So you're walking into a nursery and you get all of that greenery, but not necessarily like a specific floral. There might be hints of it. So I have the greenhouse scent. It's not exactly that, but it's similar. It's it's good. This will be interesting to melt. I can't, it's funny. It's really stumping my nose because it's like, what is that that I'm smelling? And some of these scents in here, I might not be super familiar with just because they scare me off with anything that looks like it might be floral, but I like this. We're gonna give this a try. I don't know if I get a lot of like honey, maybe a, like if there's a sweetness in here. But yeah, that's what it really reminds me of, especially smelling it in the bag. It's almost like, or you went to a nursery and you got a whole bunch of plants, you're bringing them home and that's what your car kind of smells like as you're driving at home in a good way. So this is interesting. I think I will really enjoy it though. So I would have never, I would have never thought to pick that up, but I kind of like it. So we'll see. And then another like huge hefty bag from Rainbow Melts of Animal Crackers, which is sweet frosted animal crackers in this vibrant pink. So let's give this one a sniff. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so you sent this to me. Does this mean this and that your favorite? <laughs> this is really good. Oh, this is so good. This is like a frosted cookie. This is fantastic. Oh my. Wow, this is great. Okay, so I'm really excited. I don't know how strong it'll be, but you know, crystal wax is usually pretty strong and it lasts a long time for me. So I can't wait to melt this. If it's not super strong on its own, I will blend it because it's great. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited. You know, my candles are falling. Okay, 
and I saw this one. I was like, oh, is she totally, <laughs> she knows. This is Rose Girls Fizzy Pops. Yay. <laughs> I love Fizzy Pop scents. Okay. So let's, I think, do I have this? I might have this. The bag got ripped a little bit. So she had it double bagged. I love this. This is so good. So I would say Rose Girls Fizzy Pops is more of like the lemon lime type of Fizzy Pops. That's so good. This is oh. perfection. I love mixing Fizzy with any fruit, really. I really, really do. But this seems like it'd be really strong on its own. I think I'm curing my bag still. I should look. But I will be melting this soon. Very soon. Might put that in tonight. We have, oh, and I smelled this one. Two tea time tarts, margarita on the rocks, lemon, lime, rum, and a rim of sea salt. Oh my goodness. So I smelled this. Oh, I just love this. Oh, it's so good. So we were coming from Casey's in Texas. I'm in Michigan. We have like the heat wave. And this really did really, really well coming across the country. And it came super fast. Like it took way longer for my stuff to get to her than it did for hers to get to me. This is so, this is a margarita scent. Like I have a margarita scent from another vendor. It's, I don't know what the heck that, <laughs> that oil is, but it's not margarita. This to me is a margarita. This is so good. I would even mix this with the fizzy. So like fizzy margarita. Mm, love this. But I mean, it's good on its own. I'm just saying. I always come up with ideas in my head of how can I mix this? All right. So then we have from the pharmacist's daughter, Tropical Oasis. Rum, pineapple, jasmine, Tahitian vanilla, greens, and bubble gums. I haven't tried this one. I have tried a lot from the pharmacist's daughter, so let's see. Okay, so I feel like it's, is it the, like the Tahitian vanilla I'm smelling? And the greens? Because I'm not, I'm not smelling bubble gum, I will say. Not at all. I don't really smell a lot of rum and pineapple. So... Maybe it's the a hint of jasmine, Tahitian vanilla, and greens. This is really pretty though. This is nice. And it would have scared me away, truly. <laughs> I wouldn't have purchased this because of the jasmine, jasmine, Tahitian vanilla, and the greens. I wouldn't. So I'm so glad to be able to give this a try. This is fabulous actually. And I don't smell bubble gum. So I don't know if you do, Casey, or not, but I, I don't. My nose doesn't pick it up. Okay, so then we have Sparkles Wax Melts. I have not tried her wax. This is Party Girl. Blonde Moment, Pink Stiletto, and Red Lipstick. So I'm excited. Tried her wax and these cute little hearts. Look at that. This is good. So I don't know. <laughs> I've seen Red Lipstick offered, but I don't, I haven't smelled it. I don't I haven't smelled it by itself to know what that would smell like. So that's interesting, but you guys know I love Blonde Moment. So that's what I really, really get in this is, oh my gosh, just a perfect Blonde Moment. And then the Pink Stiletto. I don't know if I've smelled that by itself either. Either way, this is fantastic. I love this. So this really reminds me of a really good Blonde Moment. So I will enjoy this one. This is oh, so, so good. Very good. I can't wait to try that too. Okay, so then we have L3 and a Bitty Betty Lost Cherry Tom Ford type Peony and Vetiver. So this one I was a little like, oh no. <laughs> My husband's like, what that one? He happened to walk in and I was smelling it. And he's like, what does that smell like? So I will say, interestingly enough, and I'm afraid to dump wax everywhere, but I want to get the bottom of it. So interestingly enough, it's not super strong on the top see if I get more on the bottom, but I'm going to dump wax. <laughs> this is just really, really pretty. Now I will say this is a little bit on the light side to my nose. Anyway, right now it is not, see, this would have scared me too. This would have made me think it would be too floral for my nose. I happen to love peonies and I don't, you know, it's been a few years since I've grown them, but I can't really say that they were super fragrant. At least the one, they didn't bother me if that was the case. So, and I don't know what the Tom Ford Lost Cherry type smells like by itself, but this is really, really pretty. I will really like this. This is, to me, this is probably a bathroom scent, but this is really nice and really gorgeous. And I never would have picked this up. 
So I'm super excited. That's awesome. It's so much fun to try different things that you never would have thought to try. I think I got all the wax. I'm hoping. <laughs> because... You know, some things might scare you just because of, you know, like the scent notes and you think, oh, I'm not going to like that. But that, you know, these kinds of things surprise me and I'm so glad we did this. This is awesome. Okay, so we have gold sugar, vanilla bean, nectarine, and lavender. Again, love gold sugar. It's from L3, Bitty Betty. Wow, this is gorgeous. I mean, I smell lavender, a hint of it, but it's not bad. Like some of... I will say some of Jennifer's lavender blends are not my favorites. And let's see. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. What else is in here? I mean, I, his gold sugar, I don't get a lot of vanilla bean. I guess maybe it's the nectarine and the lavender together. Okay, so I will really enjoy melting this. This not necessarily doesn't necessarily need to be a bathroom scent. It's, it is on the lighter side, I will say. It's not super like wham in your face, but I can melt this anywhere. I will enjoy this. This is fabulous. So good. Like, I just feel like I say this about certain things, but gold sugar does, to my nose, make everything better. 100%. I think it tames down the lavender for me. So the lavender is not super strong. I like that. Okay, so we have, next we have Rainbow Melts, Dark Knight, Blackberry, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. So Palo Santo can scare me a little, <laughs> I will tell you. So this mainly smells like that Marshmallow Fireside and Blackberry. That's what I would say. That's mainly what I'm getting. I'm really not getting Palo Santo in this. So it mainly smells like a Marshmallow Fireside Blackberry mixture. I think I'm really going to like this. I am going to probably put this aside for the fall. Because Marshmallow Fireside, to me, also screams fall a little bit. So I will enjoy it then. But this is good. I And again, what a surprise. It would have scared me off because of the Palo Santo note. But I do like this with the Marshmallow Fireside. And I do love her Blackberry. Really, really good. We have Hope from Rainbow Melts. Juicy Pear, Dove Soap, and Creamy Coconut. I never remember seeing these stamp bars. Was this like a pre-order or something that I missed? I don't know. <laughs> So this is really good. I might mainly get hair and Dove Soap, which I happen to love Dove Soap. This is really pretty. And actually Dove Soap a lot of times is kind of sharp to my nose anyway. And this kind of, the, the pear kind of gives it a little bit of sweetness. This is really, really pretty. Very, very nice. I will use this, it's a bathroom scent. Bathroom like laundry scent to me, but we will enjoy it there. Very, very good. I don't smell any coconut in this at all, but I smell the pear and the um, dove soap. So really like that a lot. Okay, so we had a couple more of the Rose Girls Chunk Samplers Grape Kokomo, which is grapes, and then the Kokomo Blend, which is rainbow sherbet, saltwater taffy, and ice cream. I love this one. I don't think you like grape that much, do you, Casey? Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love this. Fantastic. I'm probably, I'm the absolute right person for this to go to because I love this. Oh, it's so good. Love this. I will be melting this very soon as well because I don't think I melted mine yet. So this will give me enough melts to enjoy it in my living room. So that's perfect. And then banana birthday cake cookie land. I also love banana. I don't think you like banana either. Oh, I love her. So her banana bread carbs, I think. Is that what it was? Or was there cookie land in it as well? I just ordered that, more of it, because I love it so much. Oh my gosh, this is perfection. I love this. <laughs> so funny how our noses are different, isn't it? But oh, the, I love this. So, so good. So thank you. Okay, we have L3 fig tree, pomegranate, and velvet sugar. I don't think I ever tried any of that. So this is really pretty. It's velvet sugar. I feel like I just bought that from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> or just smelled it at their semi-annual sale. This is really pretty. So this to me reminds me of something that I would find at Bath and Body Works in like a body care. It's very, very pretty. But it's also sweet. This is something I might be able to melt like in my bedroom like during the day. Because it's such a like sweet, pretty scent. I really like this one a lot. So I don't know that I can pick out, like I said, I think I've smelled the velvet sugar, 
but I don't know about fig tree, but I really like this one a lot. So that'll be really nice. Okay, so I was shocked. So she sent me a piece of Glitterati. <laughs> I was like, what? So this is Wet Dreams Blonde Bombshell. So is this from your custom? This is just, this is so good. <laughs> I was dying. So I'm assuming this is Blonde Moment in here because that's what it smells like. Is it, does it have a little bit of gray? I feel like maybe it can read a little grapeish. Is that why? But this is, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Her wax is very soft, I can tell. Oh, I'm just dying. This is so good. <laughs> this is perfection, but I can see, is it, I, that's what I'm thinking, grapeish. Oh, it's so good. I had to get a <laughs> piece of tissue here because I don't want to make a mess all over the bags, but oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I have not tried Glitterati. I don't know if you saw. I won. <laughs> I just did. So I believe my box is going out on Saturday. So I won the, what is it, the Sunday drawing. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Yay. That's awesome. I'm even more excited now after I smelled that and how good that smells. So, hmm. Okay, so then we have 804 Essentials Blue Volcanic Fizz. So I'm assuming this is Blue Volcano and Fizzy. It was so funny because I went to like try to pop this out. This is scoopable. Was that in your video too? I feel like there was... So it, I mean, you were totally right. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I mean, it's very soft. So this, that... It, Truly, this smells more fizzy than the Blue Volcano along with it. So that's why I was trying to get to the bottom of it to smell, to see if I could smell it more that way, but you can't get this out. We will definitely try this, but I think this is more fizzy. Because if it was just more, if it was like the Blue Volcano, Capri Blue, Anthropology type candle, I would give this to my son, but this is more fizzy to me. So I'm gonna enjoy this one. We have Fun House from Rainbow Melt Churros with Caramel Dip. I feel like this is going to be a fall <laughs> thing already. I don't know. So this smells like, yeah, I guess it smells like, it does. It smells like churros with a little bit of caramel sauce. This will be good. This is going to be a fall scent for me, but yeah. Not too heavy on the cinnamon, but I definitely smell it. I definitely could smell it in there. We have, what's this? Sparkles Wax Melts Sweet Buttercream Cotton Candy. So let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. This is cotton candy. <laughs> that's what I get mainly. Whoa, okay, that's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's somewhere over here, I'll get it. Yeah, I guess I get hints of the buttercream, but it is a strong cotton candy. That's gonna be really, really nice. I will get that cup at some point. <laughs> no. Then we have 804 Essentials Passion Punch. Is this another one that's no, but it is definitely soft. Like, she definitely has a softer wax. So, this one to me smells floral. I don't know if this smelled floral to you, Casey, but sometimes some, I want to say, so some fruits can come across floral until you melt them. Can't talk, but. So, we will give this one a try. This one smells a little bit floral to my nose, and we will see but it's definitely a very, very soft wax for sure. And then we have Whiff MV, which I have never tried. We have pineapple cake. Oh, wow. Okay, this one looks really pretty. Look at that. Wow, this is nice. Definitely really nice pineapple scent. Oh, this is good. Very, very nice. Really good. Is that wax too? I think that's wax too. That's cool. So I haven't tried her wax. I'm excited to try it. And that smells really, really good. I love this. Really nice pineapple. Not a lot of bakery, I guess. A little hints of it. So we'll see how it comes out on warm. And then I have two, two samples. We have Great Grape Waffle Cone from The Bathing Garden. I really like this one as well. I think I bought this in a clamshell. This is so good. This is so good. Reminds me kind of of like grape gum, a little bit. I mean, I get hints of like waffle cone, but yeah, I love this. I love grape scents, so that's perfect. And then we have Orange Fanta from L3 sample. 
Love this. Love this in blend. It's perfect in blend. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. What is this? Like a little crab? This is perfect. So, Casey, you know me really well. <laughs> you watched my videos. <laughs> heard me talk about what I love. So this is so much fun. I am so glad that we did this. That's so great. We have a great wax community here. A lot of great people. So much fun. So I highly recommend if you have some friends that like different things that you do, maybe it's a good time to do a swap. If you want to wait till the fall and the weather's cooler, that's fine too. But I think it's a really great idea. Put together some of the scents that maybe you don't think that you're gonna melt or that you love and maybe put those aside and swap with somebody because you know I always say life's too short to melt. <laughs> I, not bad wax, but wax that you don't love. Let's put it that way. So if you're melting stuff just to get rid of it maybe, just because you know you feel like, well, I bought it, so maybe I should melt it. Maybe it's time to trade it with somebody else that will love it and you'll get some wax in return that you love as well so i am so glad that we did this casey i'm so super excited there are great scents here you know me really well these are perfect and i can't wait to get to melting i'm so thankful thankful for you as a friend and that i've met you in this wax community and that we could do this so thank you so much and i will see you all next time bye everybody mm -hmm.